We got something crazy today. Oh, just a deep dish pizza. We're doing a single serving in this little guy here. If you don't have one of these or a pan that can go on the stove top and also in the oven, first off, get one. But if you don't have it, you can still make this recipe. You just need, gonna need to transfer it to a baking pan. But what we're gonna do to start is cook down some bacon, Italian sausage, in a pan, and then we're gonna make the crust in that same pan using all of the bacon drippings and sausage drippings incorporated into the crust, extra flavor. Just to go over the ingredient list, we're making a really small single serving one. So what we're using is half a slice of thick cut bacon. If you don't have thick cut bacon, use a full slice of normal cut bacon. And then half of an Italian sausage. We got spicy, or what do we get? Cajun. We got Cajun andouille sausage, but you know, find yourself whatever you like. Italian sausage might go better in this, but we made this the other day and it was good with the andouille sausage. And then we're gonna do pepperonis too. So just to run through the whole thing, we're gonna start by cooking down the bacon sausage. Then we're gonna make the crust in the oven. Then we're gonna go meat layer on bottom, cheese, and then pizza sauce on the top with a little Parmesan sprinkled on top. Classic Chicago deep dish. Chicago. People don't say that. Yeah, so let's get started with the bacon and sausage. fun to switch it up with our video and both of us collaborate in making this recipe since we both made it together um, and we both wanted to share in the entire thing. You just saw Matt cook down the sausage and the bacon so we're gonna set that aside and I'm gonna do the crust portion. So the crust is super simple. It's just almond flour, mozzarella cheese, and an egg. And those are the three ingredients that you really need. We're gonna add in some oregano to give it a little Italian flavor, but I do wanna let you in on a little secret. So we've made this before as a test recipe and we used almond meal, and that was the version I preferred. I loved the almond meal, like the consistency in the crust, but Matt forced me to use almond flour for this one. So if you have almond meal, um, I'm gonna answer your question ahead of time. That'll work just as well, maybe better than the almond flour. I'm gonna put together the crust and then we're gonna get it in the skillet. Also a little secret is we're adding baking drippings. So that'll just, you know, replace the butter aspect, but also give it like a nice greasier Chicago style flavor, like Matt was saying. So let's get to cooking, guys. Yo guys, crust is done. 
We bake it for 12 minutes with the parchment paper on. Once you press it down, the parchment paper won't come off. So you have to bake it with the parchment paper on there. And then we took the parchment paper off, baked it for another five minutes. Now it's a nice consistency. You want to try pressing it into the edges as best you can. It's kind of tough. So, you know, this is pretty rustic looking, but that's okay. Now we are going to top it and we're going to go pepperoni, just classic stuff. Pepperoni, you got to have that. Use your imagination though. So let's start with a quick layer of pepperoni. Then we're going to go also bacon and sausage. Okay, there's the pepperoni. We got our bacon and sausage from earlier. We're just going to put that on next. Pile it in there. Mozzarella cheese. Gotta have it. Use some fresh mozzarella if you want. That might be really good. Healthy amount. Probably, what, like, I'd say third cup. Maybe a little more. Maybe close to a half cup. The pasta sauce is really what you're going to struggle to find. We found this Victoria pizza sauce, which is surprisingly really low carb. It's two net carbs per quarter cup. So this is great. I haven't seen this before though. It's cheap too. It's only four bucks. A lot of people use Rao's, R-A-O-S. That's super low carb too. It's just like 10 bucks for a bottle and I'm not doing that a lot of the time. So this is good. We're going to use a half cup of this for the pizza. There you have it. I'm not sure the reasoning for the sauce on top, but I'm just going to go with it because that's what they do in Chicago. Um, I guess it traps all the juices and stuff in there better. And then sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on top because that's also what they do in Chicago. If you have grated Parmesan cheese, that might be even better, but this will do. And this is going to go back in the oven for... 20 to 30 minutes, we're gonna feel it out and see how it goes. The official recipe will be linked in the blog post below. So check that out if you want exact cook times and everything. And we're gonna pop this in and then we'll be back to feast. Pie's done. We're gonna try it now. It took 30 minutes at 350 for this pie to come out pretty good. Uh, the crust is cooked the way I like it. Nice and crispy and in some, it's kind of tough. In some places, the crust will be pretty thick. In some places, it'll be thinner. You, you know, over time, you can maybe perfect that. But let's cut into here. And this is a knife and fork type of pizza. Thumbs up. It's pretty um, good Italian flavor. Oregano. Oregano and the crust come through. I got a piece of thick crust there. But I'm going to try more. Mega's, Mega's going to be mad. I'm going to try more of this good part. So here, check out the crust. You see that? It's cooked pretty good. It doesn't get too soggy from the, the pepperoni barricade we put in there. I mean, this is a, this is a legit deep dish pizza. Oh yeah. So good. Nine, nine stars out of ten. If it was a movie, it would be, what movie would it be? Probably like a mafia movie, Goodfellas. Goodfellas is the best movie of all time though, so that's a 10 out of 10. Mega's gonna try it. Hi, I'm so excited. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. Um, real quick though, shout out to AGG again because when Matt was chewing for like 30 seconds and then just screamed thumbs up, I was like, <laughs> that's how AGG does all of his videos. <laughs> just like surprises us. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna be a true test for the, first of all, I love crust, so I don't mind that he took the big part. Yeah, like look at that. You see the sausage, see the pepperoni layer? That's gorgeous. Ooh. And let's see how this crust holds up to the meal. Hot damn. That's amazing. That tastes like real that tastes like real pizza. Doesn't taste like fathead. It doesn't taste like cauliflower. It tastes like a legit slice of pizza. I keep looking up at Matt over the camera because I wanna like him to react, but this is just like a me and you kind of deal. Um this is incredible. You can even just like hold it. Like that's look at the crust, it's perfect. You know, like the meat. This is oh my god, this is incredible. 
This is going to be made several times soon. Today. We're, just, we're gonna eat this and probably make a couple more. And this is single serve, so this is technically just for me. So we'll have to make Matt another one. But yeah, guys, this is incredible. Definitely try it out. If you have almond meal at home, use almond meal and then let us know what you think about that crust because that was, that was really good too. That's a wrap on the deep dish pizza. So if you're from Chicago, let us know how we did. Mm -hmm.